Where is State of Decay 3? The last we heard about it, it sounded like things might not be going swimmingly with this post-apocalyptic base-building zombie shooter. This game where you live in the apocalypse. You're Rick Grimes, you're Michonne, you're Daryl Dixon. You're the one in charge. Obviously, you're not playing as these characters, but it's the closest you're gonna damn well get. And as they say, gaming needs a savior. And the savior may very well be Undead Labs. Vicky Eberts over at Undead Labs, the head of player experiences, tweeted out that they were in search of filling a position regarding the UI for State of Decay 3, which has led myself and others to believe that this project as we know it is far off in the distance. Some would say the most important feature of most games is the user interface, but with State of Decay, it's essential that the user interface is of high quality. What I'd like to say is look at the state of State of Decay 2. That's not a joke. It's not a meme. Let's get down to it. Honestly, I get it. I know why you guys want State of Decay 3. You want to go back into those boots. You want to get into the field and mow down those zombie bastards. You want to build your base up to be supreme and lead it like a damn warlord. Honestly, me too. But guess what? We have State of Decay 2 still, and it's a lovely game that they have been working on and have fixed so many different things throughout. $30 day one, a game on Game Pass I've always loved. I gotta say, I still love playing State of Decay 2, and it's a fine damn game. If you want State of Decay 3 so bad, why aren't you playing State of Decay 2? because they've updated it to the point where I don't even recognize it from the original product it was to what it is now. They've updated the graphics, they've updated the controls, the UI, you can have a sidearm as opposed to just having one singular firearm at a time in your hands. It's like such a different game now. State of Decay 3 was announced back in 2020 and I was there to see it. Man, what a great show that was, but I hated it at the time. Or at least I felt like it was pretty subpar. So, honestly, looking at what we have now, I think it was a pretty damn good show. And if we had another show like that, that's pretty significant. Halo Infinite turned out to be a dud, but we got a few other things that were just really tip-top. Honestly, I'm not worried about State of Decay 3 so much. They've worked so hard on State of Decay 2. I believe there's one more massive update coming and then they'll be done with the game. But we'll see what happens exactly with that. Looking at the way things go, they're gonna keep the game in tip-top shape because they have a dedicated fan base who loves their games and what they do. And the multiplayer factor, I haven't jumped in too much, but it's nice to see so many features for the communities that actually people are engaging with. That's beautiful shit, man. I love seeing a community of people who, you know, were there for the brokenness of day one, still sticking around. It was a $30 game that feels like I could play it for 2,000 hours. So honestly, the takeaway is a big win. So, State of Decay 3. One level of detail I'd like to see more of is character interaction with other NPCs. Like when we lose a battle, we grieve over the loss of whoever went down fighting. Or if we win and secure an entire factory of water and medicine and weapons, it's like we celebrate and there's no celebration factor here. Although you can emote with your buddies in co-op and whatnot, it's still a game that needs more personality. It's not just a basic zombie survival horror game. It's not just, you know, you building your base and being in charge. It's something that could be greater in all honesty. A world that you're living in, mostly populated by players, would be quite a great example of that. But if we can't get to those levels, and you're someone like me who prefers the single player route, we need better NPCs, ones that actually care 
you know, to survive. A lot of these characters care to survive. They will fight till the very end and they will die trying. But what I can tell you is that when you succeed on a mission or you're celebrating with your people, it doesn't really feel like a celebration. You know, sometimes they'll have ups and downs or they'll be reacting to other people in the community. But what we need is that interactive level of, hey, you did this for me, that's beautiful. And just a little acknowledgement, maybe a nod, maybe a wink, like, hey, you helped. That's big. You know what I'm saying? We have great games to play, but people still complain to this day. I am not complaining about the price I paid for State of Decay 2. I think I paid for it twice, one physical copy and one digital. Or maybe what I did was just play it on Game Pass, which you can do too. I love State of Decay. I love Undead Labs. I hope they smooth things out because honestly, I would pay for this game too. Thanks for being here. Until next time, folks. Ta-ta.